Well, welcome back. He is in our books one of the hardest working producers and singers in the country and that has still not stopped him from taking on new challenges. That of magazine editor and actor filmmaker. That's multi-talented soulful singer Gabo Mu who took a bit of a break from the melodies to focus on his acting career. But we all know there's no escaping the music bug once it's bitten you and so the Davidson born MC and poet is back with his latest projects titled Unapologetic the hip-hop album and Unapologetic apologetic the house album Gabom, welcome to morning live thank you so much man uh, would i be right in saying that music took a bit of a back seat while you focus on your acting career um, or were you yeah, still working behind the scenes you, you know actually uh it wasn't a plan but somehow that's how it ended up landing like uh, looking like but for me i just like working doesn't matter which <laughs> medium i am so it doesn't feel like at any point anyone is is being left behind you know yeah yeah all right so tell us about that period when you weren't doing music um you, i'm pretty sure you were thinking about your next album and thinking about what you wanted to you know you know bring sure. to 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 the music scene and so so tell us what these two albums firstly the inspiration behind them why two albums and uh, what is different okay. from what we usually get from Gabo? so these two particular albums are different first of all because it's not my normal genre like i'm known as a neo soul afro soul artist okay. uh and what happened is that even those albums have done well and i've won awards or whatever for them uh, I would always collaborate with either hip hop artists or I'd collaborate with house art, house DJs. And those songs would always just like be huge. And so my audience on my Facebook and my Twitter would always be like, when are you going to do a full on house album or when are you going to do a full on hip hop album? Uh, and people who like hearing me rap were like, we just don't like hearing you do a verse. We just want to hear you do a whole album. Mm -hmm. uh, so I decided, you know what? I'm going to do this part two album for my fans because uh, that's what they've been asking. So uh, I don't want to mix both genres in one album. Yeah. So I, I spend a month uh, focusing on the house album and I spend two months focusing on the hip hop album. Uh, and originally, it was supposed to be double album so when i played it to the label they were so impressed by it they were like no we're actually going to make it two separate albums and just release it at the same time which hasn't been really done where one artist releases two albums in different genres i think it's phenomenal that yeah. you've actually honored uh, your audiences in, the, sure. in this way and just given them such a what treat they want, because yeah. they see how versatile sure. you are right so how's the reception been so far to well so far we, we just took out one single mm -hmm. um uh, which is a song called bye bye which i did with my two friends mm -hmm. professor and danger from big Nas, which are two artists people wouldn't assume or collaborate with but we've been speaking for years about doing something together and we didn't really imagine what it sound like and it was fun because um professor is very melodic so he actually wrote the chorus for me when i got to studio the half the song was already done and i just love that he he contributed so much to it and danger came in and, and, and put a, a killer verse in it so um and that's been doing well we give it away for free um if you've got my instagram or my facebook page there's a link that gives you the song away for free and people will really love it it's been I didn't even try to place it on radio, and it's already in, in a few radio stations. Ah, nice. So, so it's, it's really amazing. It's really amazing how people just, just love it, you know? Oh, that, come on, that is fantastic. Now, the collaborations, you touched briefly on, on you having previously done collaborations with major artists yeah. in your past projects. Tell us about any collaborations that on we can expect one? in these new ones. This one's I, I really went crazy with it. Uh, how crazy? Hugh Masakela, Judith Puma, Professor. Um, Danger, um, Donald, Nak Music, Monera, uh, Zion, Zanor, uh, Proverb, uh, Questa, All the Reason. <laughs> I could go on. It was only half of them I'm mentioning. <laughs> I just thought it would be fun to make an album with, with my friends. You know, people yes. that you bump into uh, on tours, people you bump into at gigs, and you always go, let's actually do a song together, but you never actually yeah. uh, get to do it. So when I decided, to start, I'm like, I'm actually going to call a as many people as I can. And all of them were so were so willing, and everybody came through and, and did the best thing they could. I mean, Tiwa came in and recorded one song and also wrote me a song. You know what I mean? So people were just contributing in more than one way. Uh, right. And it was, it was fantastic. And I did these albums with uh, a good producer friend of mine. His name is Dumisane. Uh, he's known as Trevor Marco and Davidson. And people would drive all the way to Davidson in, in a township to record their parts mm -hmm. and one would complain. It's it just fun to make.
All right, so I, I'm pretty sure that next up we can expect a collaboration with Pearl Sean Wei, and I'll be writing your next song. <laughs> but tell us about your one night only at the yes, State Theatre. Yes, yes, yes. I've been, I've been performing, I mean, I've been performing in small spaces, and I love performing in big stages. I love it, I love it. And I haven't done it maybe in like a year. Uh, so I got my band together, 10 piece band. We've been rehearsing for the last couple of weeks. Uh, it's at the State Theatre on the 10th of June. Uh, I have Afro Traction, Brian Tamba coming through. I have Brenda Tambo coming through we already like sold almost the whole show sure. so people must get the last few tickets that are left uh, next week Saturday on the 10th of June at the State Theatre tell me about how you've put it together I mean 10 piece band so many other artists coming sure. to you know give us a show it must have logistically it, it, must it, be it is but also, also it's because I've got I've got a great team and uh, my band is one of the best people ever and we've been playing together for so many years so it, it's not that difficult and we love we love playing other people's music. Uh, I always play a tribute to one artist or another on my set. So uh, to actually have the people that I love on the set singing with me, uh, and it's, it's a combination of, of artists I've worked with, like a brand of attraction, and artists that I admire who I knew, like Brenda Mtambo and Lady Lama and Busiswa. Um, so it's a combination of all the new artists. Um, I love that is so versatile. Yeah, the likes yeah, yeah. of Busiswa. I know she's a poet as well. For what, sure. what will her role be on the night? Just I mean, we, we to give a, us a taste. We did a song together on my new album. Album, uh, a song that I do with her and Berita. But her and I have been friends because I'm also a poet. We did a festival together two years ago in Devon called Poetry Africa. And um, we spoke about, you know, it would be nice for us to do something outside of our realm of poetry, something more dense, like just like whenever you're ready, call me. <laughs> and when I called her, she was like, I'll be there, you know? Uh, it's a beautiful song. Um, and we'll be performing that song on, on, on the night as well. So for music lovers on the night, what kind All of kinds, experience will you be giving? Because us? because I've recorded literally every kind of thing. I've recorded gospel, I've recorded jazz, I've recorded hip hop, soul, R and B. You must expect a night of live music that goes everywhere. Like you, you, there's no way you can you can almost second guess the kind of experience you'll have. Uh, it's just going to be high high range of music that goes everywhere. All right, and how can we get tickets? How Copy much tickets. Do it cost? Uh, you can. We're selling at the door, but I wouldn't advise you to do that because people are already selling like crazy. So my advice is. As soon as you wake up from that bed, go straight to your comedy <laughs> ticket, get yourself and your mom and your uncle and your aunt tickets because they want to see the show. Yeah, all yeah. right. Uh, you said you were giving away some free things. We are. We are giving, we're giving away tickets. We're giving away, we're giving away CDs uh, of my new album. Uh, if you're interested, you can go on my website, kawamoto.co.za. Uh, and yeah, we always show people love, you know? All right. Thank you very much. That is uh, Kabomo, Mr. Unapologetic, two albums for uh, house music music lovers and of course those hip-hop lovers his show will be coming uh, to the state theater and of course he directed you to his website where you can get all the information that you need time for a quick